Okay, the next one is so tiny. Okay, this is. Uh, all right, I'm going to rewrite that. It just came out a little, little small. So you should have this uh, in your handout. I send you. But let me write it down bigger. You have two x minus six minus x plus three x plus six is equal to six x plus two. Here we distribute. This is like an imaginary one here. Just put one. Just make there's a one here that you distribute here. So I get 2x minus 6 plus x plus 3x plus 6 is equal to 6x plus 2. If you combine like term, we have 2x, 1x, 3x. That adds up to 6x. And then here we have minus 6 plus 6, that's add up to 0. And then in the other side, we have this. Now, this is interesting. This is the interesting question. So can somebody tell me what's the answer here just by looking at this? Now I want to discuss this a little bit. Contradiction? So exactly. So you're saying no solution here, right? Yeah. It should make sense, everyone, right? Because why is no solution? Because if I have 6x is equal to 6x plus 2, there's no way I can make this equal. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Yeah. Because we begin with, uh, this is not equal. So if I if I substitute any number here for x, because of this additional 2 on the right-hand side, there's no way I can make these two equal. Does that make sense, everyone, just by looking at this? So if you, if you see x is equal to x plus 1 or x is equal to x plus 2, you've got an example of no solution. OK, is that because you have, a, you have an x on both sides of the equation? No, because if I solve this right now, look what happens. That's another way to look at it. Uh, if I go ahead and subtract 6x from both sides of the equation, OK, see what happens. On the left-hand side, what do I get? On the left-hand side, I get 0, right? Right. On the right-hand side, I get 2. Zero to, all the x cancels. Uh, so that there's no, that's why they call it no solution. Oh, okay. Now, if I if I had six x equal to six x, if I didn't have, for some reason I didn't have this two here, okay. If I had six x equal to six x, uh, what would be my uh, my solutions? Anyone? If how many? You what? If I had six x equal to six x, how many solution would I have? It would be zero, no solution. It would be just zero because they no. cancel each other out, right? Six x cancels out six x. If I have six x is equal to six x, and I and I ask you to solve for x, oh, solve for x. Okay, can somebody tell me what would be the answer here? Zero. If somebody wrote here, uh, x could be any integer. That is correct. All real numbers, right? All yeah. real numbers would, would be the solution. Another example of that would be, look, if I had x is equal to x, another example. How do you solve for x? If I, if I, if I said x equal to 1, would it work? 1 is equal to 1. Yeah, that's a good answer. What if I 2? 2 would work? Yes. 2 is equal to 2. That's that, another. So all real solution, all 
real solution. All real, all real, uh, all real numbers, all real numbers would be the solutions to this to this equation. Does that make sense? So as this one, six x equals to six x would be another example of all real numbers would be the solution. However, if I have if I have 6x is equal to 6x plus 2, then that would be no solution. Can we see the difference here? Here would be no solution. Here would be infinitely many solutions. Because if I subtract 6x from both sides of the equation here, look, look what happens. If I subtract 6x from both sides of the equation, Please don't write on the screen for right now because it just makes it really uh, difficult for other students to, to read. So here would be 0 is equal to 0. 0 is equal to 0. That would be a time I would ask you to write something on the board, but for not, that's not uh, time now. So this, when you get 0 is equal to 0, uh, means the solution would be all real numbers. Uh, when, when I get, in this case, if I subtract 6x from both sides of the equation, And in this case, I would get uh, 0 is equal to 2. So this would be an example of when you get no solution. No solution. OK. I, I need you to guys uh, ask questions ask if you make sure you understand the concept, first of all. Yeah, I understand well, the concept, but could you go back to the original question so I can write yes. how you I, I will do that in a moment. But uh, are you guys okay between these two? Any question between the difference between these two, first of all? Are you okay with that? This would be infinitely many solutions. This would be no solution. We're good with that, right? That. right? I do have an uh, I'm good with it, but if we go to back to the, to the question, what answer do we have to choose? From okay, well, okay. yeah, let's yeah. go back to the, let's go back to a question. Frank says, let's go back to a question. We get 6x is equal to 6x plus 2, so in this case, would be no solution. When there is no solution, they, they use this little symbol, empty set, or there's no solution, and there's a name for this. Okay, what's that? Contradiction, <laughs> right? right? C would be the correct answer. Okay, I got it. Very good. All right, so you have to know the difference between a conditional equation, identity, contradiction, conditional equations for uh, for that section. If you go go to chapters one and two, you see the list of different uh, type of uh, equations and solutions that you. I can get, please review that set. But everybody okay with uh, this problem here that there would be no solution. And everybody understand uh, the example uh, uh, here that when would be no solution, when would be infinitely many solutions. We're good with that, everyone?